So this sequence aimed at mobilizing the whole of the posterior chain by doing an exercise that's very reminiscent of a crunch. So lie on your back, let your head rest into your hand. Okay, and your head wants to become as heavy as possible. So if you were to drag your head up with your hands, it should feel as relaxed in the neck muscles as you can. Okay, what we're now gonna do, we're gonna mobilize the back of the leg, so hug it into your body and extend and flex the knee. And then we'll do five of those and then I'll wait to wiggle your foot up and down, holding it in that end range. What we'll now do is I want you to take one hand behind your head, you're gonna breathe out, as you do so, drag the head up so your elbow goes towards your knee. The head has to be really heavy in the hand. So we do five on one side, swap your hands around, head again heavy in the other arm, drag it up. And this time, because we come across the body, try to take that elbow to the outside of your knee. We then repeat the process on the other side. So we'd ex hug it in, extend, and wiggle the foot. Hand behind your head, relax. Again, breathing out, pulling it up one way, swapping your hands around, breathing out, pulling it up the other way. And then the final bit is I want you to bring both feet together, knees out wide as possible, hands behind your head, breathe out, and try and get the elbow on the same side knee to touch. We do it again about five on each side, and then we go breathing out, opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Again, dragging the head up with the hands, making that neck relax as much as possible.